Hey, welcome back everybody once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now this Photoshop Elements tutorial will work in versions uh, probably 6 all the way through 13. I've been receiving a lot of email lately about people saying, Jack, how would I watermark my photos? You know, because a photograph is okay, but if you want to watermark it so you can post it on Facebook or you can post it on uh, any number of sharing sites out there like Google+. Plus. Or if you just simply want to put uh, your name maybe on a photo, so when you print it and frame it, people will know that it's your work. Or well, creating a watermark is just so easy that uh, it only takes a few simple steps. And you can save your watermark and you can use it in the future. But let's go ahead and just create a watermark. So all we're going to do here is simply go to File, New, and we're going to create a new blank file. Now the blank file, we're just going to simply call it Watermark. And we're going to set our size to width of 600, the height of 200, a resolution of 300 should be fine. Make sure your background contents is transparent. We don't want it white and we don't want it to be the background color. We want it to be transparent. Now we'll simply click on OK. Here is our new watermark. We're going to add some text to our watermark. You can also add images to your watermark if you wish. And we're going to cut this text size down a little bit here. It looks a little bit big. So we'll make it about 24 points. Let's get a little bit smaller than that, even uh, maybe 14. And uh, you can pick your font, whatever kind of font you might want uh, for your watermark. We'll, uh, you know, it's very much up to you how you want this to look. Um, pick this font. And we're going to simply type in Memories by Jack. Memories by Jack, and as you can see, that's white. That's not going to work, right? Because we can't have white on a transparency. So let's change our color to, we'll just change it to black. And we'll just make it really easy. And we can also take this text, maybe you might want to make it bold and slightly italic. Click the checkbox. You can move this around on your watermark. You can also uh, resize it just by grabbing a corner and resizing your watermark for your text. Memories by Jack and we'll click OK. So there's our watermark. So if you want to save it, just go to File, Save As, and I would suggest you save it as a Photoshop file. The reason I say that, if you change it to a JPEG file, the transparency will become white. So save it as a Photoshop file and just click on Save. We're not going to save this one right now. Let's go back to my image, and I took this image, uh, you know, about a month ago, and we're going to add our, our watermark. So go down to the file bin. You can see the watermark now in your, in your uh, photo bin. I'm sorry, file bin. Just drag it up and drop it on top of your photo, and you can resize it. So we're just going to resize this, pull it out. And you can see now where the background is not there, just the text is there. We're going to move it to wherever you want it. Memories by Jack right there. Click the little box. And then just save your photo out again. Save it with a name, maybe uh, the original file name, underscore watermark, or, you know, whatever you might want to save it as. So hopefully, folks, you've enjoyed this photo uh, shop Elements video tutorial. And check out all my tutorials on the YouTube channel here at 42 Technoman. You can also sign up for one of my classes and go to jtclearning.com, jtclearning.com, where you can learn either Photoshop Elements 12 or 13, even if you have an older version. A lot of the edits will work for you. So go to jtclearning.com. Thanks uh, for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you back here next time on another Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.